Hello, I'm Mr. Bbates1 and welcome back to another how-to video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can spawn in and use Minecraft's agent. The agent is this little golem here, which is primarily used in Minecraft Education Edition. But because they can share worlds between Education Edition and Bedrock Edition, the agent also exists here as well. It's just not accessible in the normal way. Now, before proceeding, please note that you should listen to everything in this video before spawning in the agent. There are some small minor modifications that you do need to make along the way in order to make the agent usable. Because it's not supposed to be used, there are certain things that just doesn't exist in this version of the game, such as removing the agent from the world once it's spawned in. So if you spawn in an agent before following all the rules and the conditions, he will be stuck in that world forever. So please remember that before going ahead straight away and spawning in the agent. Now, you know me, I like to do a little showcase first of it in action, and then I like to show you how it was achieved. So here's a small little mini game that I've made using the agent. And there you have it, just a little bit of fun there, showing you one of the ways how you can use the agent for a minigame. Let's get on to what you've all been waiting for. Let me show you how we do it. So first things first, you're going to need an NPC. Now as you can see here, I've actually got three NPCs laid out here, which we will take a look at at the minute. You only actually need one to achieve this, but I've got three there just to show you all the different commands, because you currently have about six buttons per NPC. Now the reason why we need to use an NPC is because the normal player was never intended to spawn in and use the agent. However, NPCs came from the Education Edition, and therefore they can actually interact with the agent. Now this means that we can pass commands to the agent via the NPC, since this ability was not actually Actually removed when they were ported across to bedrock so let's take a look then at the first NPC and let's see how we actually spawn in the agent now as you can see here our NPC says click here to spawn in your agent and there is a button here that says get agent and when we press it you can see our little guy spawns in wherever we are now as you can also see there is my name above the agent this is because agents are specific per player and not just a generalized mob which means it has its own private infantry and everything that goes along with it. Now to actually spawn in the agent, we want to use this command here. And this is execute at initiator. I call these the squigglies, and then we type in agent create. When you trigger this command, the agent will spawn in wherever it is that you are standing. And once the agent is in, you can now send commands to it for it to move. So if we just go on to this NPC, for example, as you can see, we have some commands here. Now, we'll cover remove agent in just a moment. Uh, for now, we're just going to look at left, right, and forward. So if we position ourselves in the right way, as you can see, our agent is moving left and right and so on. Now, the commands to make it move left, right, and forward, we've got execute at initiator, the squigglies again, agent turn left. We have another one for the right, which is agent turn right. And then finally, to move forward, it's agent move forward. Now, there is no backwards. You have to turn left, right, and then forward from then on. And that is the basics of the movement command. And then if we take a look at the third NPC, we can see we've got place blocks, destroy blocks, collect blocks, and drop blocks. Because it's got an infantry, you can actually throw blocks in here. We'll throw that in there. 
Now we stand here and trigger our NPC, tell it to place blocks. As you can see, it will place that block. And we can do the same to destroy it, as well as collect it. Now when you collect it, it will simply place it back in there. Now because I started off as a glass, uh, gra a glass, glass block, a grass block, and then when it got broke, it turned into a dirt block. Obviously, we've now obtained a dirt block as well in his inventory. And we can also drop all the blocks as well on the floor. Thank you. So to achieve this then, so as you can see here, we're simply sending the command agent place one forward. And that will place a block directly in front of it. Now, you can actually change uh, the forward to left and right. Let me just give it some more blocks. And as you can see, it will place it to the left of it instead. And the same for right as well. The next one is destroy. And simply we are saying destroy forward. And the same thing as place, you can do uh, destroy left, destroy right, destroy forward. The other one which was collect. So once it breaks a block and it's on the floor, uh, or you have like a dropper, you can get to spit out items and stuff like that. You can tell it to pick up those items. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a way to be able to pick up any item. So you have to specify it in the command. Uh, so in this case, obviously I had dirt because I knew that once it breaks the gra grass block from earlier, uh, it would turn into dirt. And if you wanted to pick that up, up, that will be the command to that which is just simply agent collect and then the item you want him to collect and lastly there is drop all agent drop all forward or you can agent drop all left agent drop all right and this will drop all the items there are actually a lot lot more uh, agent commands which i have uh, put in the description below so you can check those out at your ledger but these are just some of the the sort of more popular and basic ones to use now as you can see there is a common denominator here we're always execute as the initiator squigglies it then says agent and then the command follows afterwards. And with all of that, that's how we spawn in and move the agent around. Now the next thing is how do we remove the agent? Because if you actually try punching the agent, you will notice that it is indestructible. You can't kill it. You can't set it on fire. If we get it a flint and steel, he will sit there forever burning away. No, nothing. You can't make him drop in the void because as you can see, when you open up a block, the agent will hover. Now, in Education Edition, the way you would remove it is that you would simply put in, you would simply type in uh, remove at C, I believe it is. But if you noticed in Bedrock Edition, this command does not exist for us to use. So we can't actually remove the agent. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. At this point in time, the agent would normally be stuck in this world forever. There's no way to remove it. All you can do is TP the agent around. Now, if you do try to TP the agent to the void, because he doesn't can't be harmed, he will just sit there indefinitely. So one way to resolve this is to physically modify the behaviors of the agent via use of a behavior pack. And it is only a small modification. Here is the agent's uh, behavior pack, which you can get from the uh, example behavior packs from Mojang's website. And simply all I have done is, is change this condition here from false to true. So we're simply saying that damage sensor all types of damage will be taken as true and will apply to the agent. And with this small modification, it now means that we can TP it to the void and it will die and be removed. So the remove condition that I had here earlier is simply just TPing the agent to minus 100. So wherever the agent is in the world, it'll simply go to minus 100 and then the void will kill it. Now you can see it's gone. And if we go all the way down here, you can just see there the particles from the agent that died. And that means then that the agent is then free to be spawned in and used again. One final thing to note about the agent is, is that the agent will take on the properties of the player. So if the player is in creative, the agent will be in creative. And if the player is in adventure mode, then the agent will be in adventure mode. And that will mean that in order to place blocks and break blocks, you need to use the allow and the deny blocks in order for it to do that. If you don't have those, and obviously place and break will not work but movements will, will still work fine. And there we go, that's the basics of how to spawn in an agent and moving around in your world using nothing more than an NPC and a slightly modified behavior pack so that we can remove the agent afterwards. Now, if you got to the end of the video, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.